to the third lecture of series on the sucks and the buses stuff and uh, as per our planning now today i'm going to discuss about the process which is making all the industrially toxic material into the form of a medicine and that those processes are sudan and the modern so if you have gone through my previous lectures i said that uh, here is the process of sudan modern and sansakar and if i have to add here something more then i can write here the bhavana and the jara specifically the jarais way for all the metal and the minerals and the all material products so my previous emphasis was on the factor that uh, of course when they are procured from the mines the metal and the minerals are in the mercury they are as toxic as anything maybe but this is the scientific scientifically validated process of the pharmace pharmaceutics invented into this reason which is uh, actually responsible for the all this conversion from an industrially toxic material to a medicinal form by passing through all these processes if uh, one should count on this there uh, what are the pharmaceutical panorama of the rasas then uh, it may be divided into this five headings number one is here the authentication then the procurement procedures purification potentiation calcination incineration and the completion test my dear viewer my emphasis is here that uh, if you have to take anything then certainly you have to authenticate that and if you see the methodology for the authentication of the raw material uh, for the authentication of the raw material here we generally go for the grand reduction of uh, a grand reduction coated in our classics but uh, this is not sufficient at the present day because the science has been developed and now we are using here some mineralogical parameters that uh, detail will be required a lot of time so i am skipping that and then the geological findings also so if these three will be uh, considered in the appropriate way for the selection of a raw material and then the authentication has been done by taking the dry reduction of the plastics of the rasas then its mineralogical findings something with the correlation of the dry reduction and then the geological findings and then one can say that yes of course uh, this is the best way for the authentication in the further course of the period i shall take some examples and make it clear then the after the authentication the procurement and the how it will be there in the pharmacy before the pharmaceutical procedures then there are the certain rules made by the government and uh, regulatory authorities are responsible for that as well as the company how to store all these materials uh, into the you know when you are taking it from the certain vendors or from any suppliers whatsoever the company it has decided as per its need in teaching institution also we go for the in the same methodology and there are some you know, established vendors which are who are supplying us to all these materials so my consideration for today is the purification sodan fine but before going to the sodan i want your attention here this paper uh, and uh, the title and the history link is given here that is the mercury based drug in ancient india the red sulfide of mercury in nano scale if you this word nano scale or nano and then the nano technology is uh, really something which is inviting everyone who is in the field of 
pharmaceutics or in the core science or anything like the biomedics or the even the devices, whatsoever. Carlo Vigia Matima is the very common things everyone is going for the smaller size of the uh, laptop or the smaller size of the on the woman. Whatsoever. This example is uh, blanket. What I wish to say that everyone is believing in the nano. It's just a difference that uh, in the last week, uh, Dr. Harshvardhan, the Indian Health Minister, notified the guidelines for the nano pharmaceuticals. The word they used is the uh, nano pharma. So because, because there are the opinions which are saying that any medicine when it is into the narrow form then certainly its uh, characters are changed, its uh, therapeutic properties, pharmacological actions are changed. So it may be in either way, it may be good in certain cases, in most of the cases it's better but in certain cases it has been reported that the nanoparticle size is not so good as it is the normal micro size uh, in the different different doses forms. But uh, here it is relevant that uh, everyone is talking about the uh, nanopharmaceuticals and it's a general belief and it has been established by the experiments also by the analytical values that uh, the Bhasmas specifically uh, the drugs of the Ayurveda which are used in the form of bus, they are mostly into the form of nano size. They are the mixture of the nano size and the micro size, and the percentage varies. But uh, generally, it is considered as a nano size. So, what is sozhan? It's the English translation is very simple that is the purification and the potentiation. Here, before coming to the next slide, or uh, the second, uh, uh, on the fourth number in the modern process and certainly someone says that uh, what are the quality control measures and how one can able to know that whether the process is completed or not. For that and for those people I wish to convey that in our classics or in our practice we have a very well defined Hasma Pariksha that we are calling here as a completion test and uh, that ensure the quality of the bus. Uh, of course, uh, it is a bhavna, and uh, bhavna is a process in which uh, the organic materials are treated with the inorganic material. Here, the inorganic material are the metal and the minerals, and the bhavna is the here some organic juices, some pork, or even the uh, cow milk, or even the cow urine. So anything of the organic origin, they are treated with the different different processes and uh, with these minerals and the metals. And uh, the purpose of this process is the conversion. And of course, it uh, reduces the toxicity and uh, certainly it uh, potentiates the therapeutic efficacy. There are a lot of examples in which a powder, uh, for example, the amalgam rasayan, a powder is of the amlaki is treated with the, every time with the amlaki swallows and then dried and then again amlaki swallows and then the product which is, uh, which is uh, produced that is the, having the more potency. So it's a process in which here I have taken the example of both the, uh, the organic but in the rasas if you see the bhavra is given during the process of the even the baran between the two food or even during the sodan and it has something entirely different objectives. Next. These are the papers which are published that in the impact of the bhavana sanskar on the physical chemical parameters with the special reference to the dandan present preferred by different media and the makers. Then the liquid media it is the general of the pharmaceuticals. Of course, I am um, uh, willing to emphasize more on the Sodan today. So, directly come to the Sodan. Yes. This is the objective of the Sodan. The Sodan objective is Yes, uh, it has been the final version is here. But before coming to the final version, I would like to go to the processes involved 
and the ultimate result so here is a three changes specifically taking place at the level of physical changes then the chemical changes and of course in some cases biological changes and we can say here it is the physical chemical changes so how one can achieve it what are the processes which are involved and uh, by which we are achieving these results i put it here put it it here i tag it here as a superior methodology of the soda yes they are really superior in sense the changes they are uh, of they are the changes they uh, due to this process is really very very significant very very important and uh, making those particular materials into the form of a medicine after one more process that is the mark out there is a very few which are used just after sodan that for the example table and uh, some all those mis materials of the plant origin they are used after the sodan but generally after the sodan there is a need of the process of the mar and then only it is changed into the form of a medicine so here if you come to the which method will be applied where that depends on the physical chemical characteristics of the mineral or the material the common aim during the process of the sodan is the reduction of the particle size and uh, it enhances the surface area for the its exchanges with the during the process of the bhavna with the organic material and of course the, the ready for the process of the next step that is the mar so here if i am taking the word here suppose is a drug maxi chalcopyrite here is a drug of drug this is also i can say biotite some books are writing here it is mica no it's not true it is a biotite suppose here uh, given in the gold suppose here it is the iron suppose here it is the sulk and uh, of course so we should go for the some poisonous plant material here it is the vatsana or laxabomica or the balata quercetin so if i ask to you who are listening me that uh, do you find any change at the physical characters as well as in the chemical characters of all these examples quoted here of marchik abrak gold iron sun all whether all they have uh, similar physical property or similar chemical property or even the economic value whether it is same the answer will be seriously no so one common method is not there for the purification of each and every material which is being used into the rasas so the method of the sodan but we are going to deliberate uh, in short today only this is depending on the physical chemical properties of the material which is subjected for the process of the sodan if the hardness is high then the method is different if hardness is low the method is different if the reactivity temperature is high the method is different if the reactivity is low the method is different so uh, i wish to say here that as per the physical chemical character of the material the method of the sodan and the frequency is decided so let me explain generally two processes which are used into the process they are very simple nirva ava dhalan
प्रक्षालन इज बालन देन अवाप निर्वाप गालन पृथककरण प्रक्षालन पृथककरण प्रक्षालन गालन भर्जन सिंपल मर्दन इवन समाइम्स इट इज निर्जलीकरण used and for each and every material here in the media so i wish to say here for the best effect of the sodan here is the need of importance of equipment what we are using certainly then there is the media then of course the frequency and uh, i would like to add here one more thing whether in that particular process heating is involved or not so if this combination of four five factors are actually responsible for uh, this method of the purification by which one can say that yes this industrially toxic material is changed into the good form of a medicine uh, after the process of the bath well, and once again i am it is emphasizing again and again that after so the very few drugs are uh, good for the therapeutic uses mostly 98% uh, measures are required the process of the mark fine so if you come to here the equipment media frequency the heat on the basis of this only things are decided here the most common we use method is the nirva in which what we do we communicate uh, communication in the term uh, in hindi we call चोरी करना और यू कैन से द रिड्यूस पार्टिकल साइज दीज आर हीटेड इन अ पैन अप टू द रेड हॉट कंडीशन देन इट इज क्वेंच्ड इनटू अ लिक्विड हियर द वैरायटी ऑफ द लिक्विड मे बी डिफरिंग फ्रॉम अ swaras and it is self expressed juice of a plant to its quark that is a decoction and once again i say that in the milk of the different varieties of the animals including the cow the fallow sheep and then the urine also of the eight varieties of the urine what are spotted into the allergic classics it is and it may be a simple water too in some cases the science behind it the principle behind it is the sudden change into the temperature here if it is the red hot means certainly it is touching 500 600 degrees centigrade temperature and then suddenly all of sudden it is quench here it is the media it is the at the room temperature and this sudden change from 500 to 32 degrees centigrade approx is responsible for the breaking of the site by this the whole uh, objective that is the reduction in the particle size what we have coded here on the number 3 the particle size reduced it uh, 
took place here by this method of the Nirva. And certainly, it is very clearly that uh, it is not being completed uh, just by one method. It has been indicated seven times, five times, three times, somewhere twenty-one times if it is the material is done. So it is completely there is a completion test in the in this in this area also, and we have to repeat the process till. Uh, we are not getting the final what characteristics of the material which is the CPC CPC character after the process of the soda. So the nirvak is the one method and it is mostly used for the uh, approximately all the members of the Maharas except the Sirazi, I think so. Uh, it is used for the Abra, it is used for the Marche, it is used for the Sasitirak, it is used for the uh, I can say in gross all the metals and all the minerals having hardness more than three. The process of Nirvaka is used. So it is it, it is abundantly used. If I have to select one process which is used in the variety of the cases uh, for the sodan, certainly then here I shall concentrate on the Nirvana. Ava is a different phenomenon, and uh, here it is not used uh, commonly. But this dhara is used for the process of for the sodan of Gandhar. In this, what we say, what what uh, what we not what we do uh, that uh, we take the. This is in the other processes also, I am coming on that issue. You take a solid material and that solid material is melted. Here it is the Gandhar, here it is the Nag, here it is the Bang, here it is the Yashar, all this Puti law. They are here just, their solid form is converted into the liquid. And this liquid material is dipped into a liquid material. In case of Nirva, this solid material, which is the, the red hot, the powder, coarse powder, I can say, that is dipped into the liquid. But here, the material is converted into the form of a liquid, and that liquid material is dipped into a liquid. And then again, it becomes solidified. Here it is solid to a liquid and the solidified. Here it is the liquid material dipped into a liquid material and there it becomes solidified. So here this whole the phase change is responsible for the particle size reduction which is the primary aim for the making of medicine from these matters of the metal and the mineral origin. If uh, here we come, this is a very simple Sridhakaran, means the separation, separation of uh, all foreign materials uh, from uh, procured raw material. It is a Sridhakaran, it, it, it should be done for each and every material there. Prakshalan is uh, just washing with the water. And uh, here it is said that if we will do to prakshalan, then in that case also, here it is the filtration. So further is a little bit I want to describe. Here the coarse particle size uh, solid is fried into a fatty material. I can say the oleogenous material and uh, just like uh, it is thought out that uh, some liquid soluble material is absorbed during the process of the bharjan and uh, uh, it is uh, up to some extent it is also serving the purpose of the reduction in the particle size but uh, even for the machi some methods are advocating for the nirva and here some methods are advocating for the bharjan but if 
The Maxim has to be used for the purpose of the Maran and the Basma is the ultimate aim to produce it, then the method is never always taken. While the method is bhajan is also indicated, uh, here it's a need of uh, continuous uh, uh, more studies that uh, if the same material is having uh, methodology, one method for the nirvab, then how it is uh, being, purpose is being solved with the bhajan. And uh, at the moment, uh, if I am going to explain it, it will take much time. But this I am raising a question. What is the basic purpose of this process of the Sogan? When for a single material, the different methods, even in the Nirvab, here in the media is different. Somewhere it is for the same material. Uh, it is reflect mark or it is for the Nimbu Solas or for the anything other. So even for the uh, Abrak, it is somehow it is a part, and, uh, for, and somewhere it is a cow milk, then uh, how, it is being, uh, make, how it is making a difference. Here it is a process of the Dhanan for the Gandhar, it is Bodhu, it is a Vrindas for us. My submission is this, is that when the liquid media is changed with the same material, Certainly, it has some very specific purpose, unique purpose. That purpose is not only limited to the process of the sodhan, but the, if the media is different, that purpose may lead to the ultimate therapeutic effect. As it has been said sometimes, so I was discussing the importance of this uh, methodology, the pharmaceutical procedure of the sodhan, in which uh, equipment is very important, media is very important, frequency is very important, and of course the quantum of the heat. All these in the combined way responsible for uh, size reduction and the changes at the uh, chemical level even, the physical chemical level, and uh, of course the surface area is enhanced here. So I, I was giving the example of the you know, process of the dhalan if Gandhak is purified with the cow milk, goduk, it is said that it is for the Rastan purpose. If it is for the Bhringras Soros, it is said that it is for the, it, it, it may be good for the GIT disorders. It is the same thing for the others also. And I can say at least five, six media is allocated into the, if you see the book Rastanagari, the, the, Explanation in the examples of the different media for the same process is increasing as per the uh, increase as per the enhancement of the knowledge. For I wish to say that uh, I wish to quote it. The methodology, if it is the three media given in the 11th century for a single material, if you come to the 19th and 20th century, the media is going up to the 7 to 10. The method of the Susan is, is increasing. So, any, any one of you, if you wish to study it in the detail, I shall advise you to go to the classics and see the sequential development into the sequence of the uh, equipments, then the number of the media, the amount of the media, the frequency and the heat. These, these are, there is a combined effect of all these factors which are converting this uh, a metal or the mineral into the form of a purified which is used into that particular next process of the maran in that state it is mainly to enhance the exchanges during the process of the bhavana and the formation of a new compound during the process of the maran with the heat particular heat exposure and so the particle size should be reduced and this purpose is being achieved by the sodhan. One thing more, this sodhan is not for their reduction in the particle size. It is serving some more purposes also. And those purposes are the enhancement of the or inculcement of the therapeutic properties in that particular material in the material and the reduction in the toxicity. 
here is a work has been done into the PhD level and uh, Dr. Ved Prakash who did it, uh, what he did, he took the copper turnings and uh, quenched it into the 35 times into all its method of the sojourn where it has been said that uh, 7 times each will be quenched by in the 5 different liquid media having the different different pH material and the other things Tali, Takri, Dawa, Mutri, Kanji, Purat, Vaadhe these are the 5 different uh, liquid media and uh, it is suggested that in this sequence the sequence is also different uh, uh, into the Rastanini and into the other, uh, other books but here that has been dipped after heating and the dipping, heating and the dipping what we call Nirva and uh, ultimately the reduced uh, particle size of the copper powder was achieved in the end and then it is further processed for the process of the mar. Just uh, an idea developed into the mind of some scientists if it is the only purpose to reduction in the particle size then and if it is the objective to uh, change in a temperature suddenly then why we are using all these materials till then and uh, cow urine and uh, rest uh, all the three materials one can use the water only and uh, uh, can get the, all the particle size reduced. An experiment was planned here back 1995-1996 uh, in which uh, the tamra, I mean copper was purified in the plain water 35 times and it was really reduced in the particle size in the same way and it is supposed with the, all the uh, uh, five liquid media as quoted into the Ayurveda classics and specifically the our Rasas books and the bhasma of the both were prepared then the bhasma prepared with the copper powder quenched into the plain water and the bhasma prepared after a routine normal sodhan of all this material and when they were given to the rats the normal the normal town bus prepared by applying the methods of the sodhan and the maran as per the classics of the rasas was not showing any toxicity whereas that town bus got the same black, black color into the process of the maran but it was not purified with the as per the classics of the rasa it was just quenched into the 35 times into the water all the animals of that uh, particular town bus which was prepared without following the method of the sudan all experimental rats were having a lot of kinds of the anomalies on their vital organs so that was proving that this is not only for the particle size reduction particle size reduction was achieved by the just mixing in a plain water also but this is the media the organic media that is the tifla quath or the kachnaat swaras or the kusman swaras whatsoever the things for the different different materials are very utilized if that that is being used and that will enrich that will change all those even the physical, not only the physical characters, but somehow, somewhere, their uh, their uh, arrangements into their bondings were also being changed into the process of the maran. I don't want to say anything in a vague manner. I, we have uh, developed uh, certain scientific papers, certain data, which are establishing our this uh, presumptions that this is the, not only the case the sodhan process is for the reduction in the particle size but the sodhan process is there for the removal of the toxicity enhancing the therapeutic properties and of course the particle size next please yes uh, in this slide uh, all the objectives of the past is being achieved by the Changes taking place there, the physical change, the chemical change, the biological change and the therapeutic change. This paper was published by the department of Rassas in the 1996 
as uh, submitted on the February 96, accepted in the 23rd April 1996. It was a period when very few uh, journals were available and accepting these uh, research papers, and it was published into the Ancient Science of Life. Here, the, this department is uh, reporting that uh, authors are Dr. Ranjana Chobe, Dr. P. K. Prajapati, and Dr. S. K. Dichit. And they are reporting that the Sodhan is a particular aspect to be followed meticulously in analytic pharmaceutics. Failure to subject certain ingredients to this process of purification can have a negative effect on the efficacy of a preparation. This aspect is detailed in this article. And uh, of course, they have quoted here 16. But uh, for your further reading, I may suggest to you that uh, if you go to the papers published by the Jamnagar School, where the or in the thesis of the Abrak by Dr. Dipati Kordi, this is also available online. One can go through that, and then the further Dr. P.K. Sarkar and our research papers published there. Before coming to the virtue, I was in the Jamnagar, and if anyone is going through all those materials which are reported in the uh, thesis as well as in the, in the form of the published paper. They, they are uh, showing light uh, and the continuous many more paper, paper why I should confine myself to the only these two schools, Banaras and the Jamnagar. No, there are the many researchers who are working in this area and they are revealing the process of the Sodhan uh, in a very systematic way. And in this, the most uh, impressive paper, what I can say, but before coming to this, uh, I would like to uh, make you this one more paper that is also internal publication of the Jamnagar and it is the importance of media and Sodhan of Vatsana. And uh, truly speaking, when I was working in this project, uh, I was impressed by the, some Chinese paper. And uh, those papers were published for the Nux Vomica and the semicarpus in a guardian. And these were showing how the chemical changes were taking place by following the Ayurvedic methodology of the Sodhan. And uh, the process is what the simply here, I have just missed that, that is the Sweda. This is also a very important process for the Sodhan. It should be here somehow if a process is used uh, in the Rasast uh, after the Neva, it is the Sweda. And in this way, in this method, in this method, what one will do, take any material, uh, put it in a portally in merge, here it is the liquid media, here it is the substance, and it is heated for 3 arm or whatsoever the time is indicated. In this process, they have given how this uh, structure of the material here that is being changed, and that has been reported by the Chinese scientists. In fact, I would like to quote here a name, uh, Dr. C.K. Katiyar, who completed his career with the Dabur as a its, uh, director of the Dabur Research Foundation, and then currently he is uh, servicing the Imami as it's the CEO research. So, they suggested me at that time, I can say that it was the 2002, 2003, uh, that uh, this is the, the, the Chinese which are giving some all good data, how the Kuchila uh, structure was before the, it's the Sodan with the government and what are the changes there after the process of the Sweden. So, if any one of you here just, I have to cover everything into the 40 minutes, so I'm just skipping many things. I wish to say here that uh, there are certain papers published into the different, different journals emphasizing the importance of the Sodan process of the Rasas in the broader terms, I'll be, and uh, there the structural changes before and after Sodan has been established in a very, very authentic and the systematic way. And in this, uh, the recent, uh, next please, is the, this paper, 
that is the scientific validation of the different purificatory steps involved into the preparation of an Indian uh, Ayurvedic medicine that is the law of us. Dear viewers, uh, I shall suggest you we just uh, focus here and uh, that uh, is available and it is the publication into the journal of the pharmacology. It is not open access but somehow some sites are giving it open access. The authors are, it is from, from the Sastra Tanjau and the first author is the Balaji Krishnachari. And in this paper, they have really defined uh, the process of the Sudan uh, in, in special reference to the law of us and uh, what is the effect of the, all these uh, material, all this process, during the process they have given with all scientific data and finally I wish to read the conclusion where authors are suggesting the process of uh, Making law bus as per the Ayurvedic test involves thorough and stringent purification steps, which include the Samanya Shodhan and the Vishesh Shodhan, Bhanu Park, Sthali Park, and the Put Park. Okay, fine, it is the common thing, but here it is interesting. The role of the plant and animal products, what I was uh, uh, referring as the during the process of the bhavana or the during the process of the nirvak or the during the process of the shvedan in other materials the role and the plant uh, the role of the plant and animal products that are used in the preparation of uh, this law was has been systematically studied to understand their role our results demonstrate that during the purification process oxide of iron were removed by complexation with the vegetable and the animal products thus all these purification steps in addition to removing the iron scales, also cause changes in shape and produce the nanostructure. So finally, everyone is talking that the nanostructure. The nanostructure is really the boom, uh, which is into the, uh, in, which is the very characteristic properties of the all basmas of the rasas. And uh, people have started working on this. With the light of the nano medicine nowadays is last 10 years, but I can say the Ayurvedic Acharyas, specifically the Rasastra Acharyas, are preparing this Vasmas of the nanotechnology in the nature in broad, uh, in a greater sense, since the 8th, 9th century when they, they prepared the first bus after the invention of the, as I said in my previous lectures. After the invention of the 500 year, this process of the Sodhan, Maran, Jaran, and the Bhavana, which are very much individualized for each and every material. The inner cell, I would like to summarize that there are total, as per our work uh, of the Jamnada, here Dr. Anjana Chauve is giving 16 methods for the Sodhan. We have reported there the 18 methods of the Sodan and uh, they are with the these four factors specifically designed equipment, the media, the frequency and the heat and the chief design characters which is expected after the completion of the process of the Sodan is also well informed in our classics and uh, that should be followed. One thing, my friends, I would like to say with my full sincerity and as a student of the Rasas, never try to change the method. If you are modernizing the equipment, you can. Following the fundamentals of the what is the objective, what was the uh, methodology there for the transfer of heat, the duration of the heat exposed or the way of the heat transfer to the material like in the process of the swindon it is passing through a liquid media or in the nirvap also whatsoever the things are there you can modernize you can calibrate a new equipment as per the pharmaceutical engineering but never do what i'm saying now never do the change into the media the organic media the material for the swaras decoction cow urine and uh, other things which are quoted if you see at least 10 
class X and you are taking one metal or the mineral, you may get at least 5, 6 or even up to the 10 or even more than that as per the class X. Uh, if uh, uh, coordinator Dr. Patwardhan will tell me then I can prepare and then one more lecture will be required that yes this is the comparison of the one Sodan method and this is the Sodan method given into the Ratha Samuche, this is the Sodan method given into the uh, Rasen Chudamadi prior to that or in the Rasen Chintamadi letter to that and up to the Rastangini or even in the Rasamrit. No, I am not going on that particular details because here I have to communicate the base and the principle, what is required here, what is involved in this here. So here my submission is that Never use an organic material in the process of the sodhan or the maran and whatsoever the process there which are not quoted, not indicated in any textbook of the Rasas because that may lead to a negative result. Those acharyas suggested particular organic material or a particular inorganic material that was very very specified and the final product what has been given there with the particular characters, even the color of the wasp, for the town it is the black color, for the wasp it is the black color, for the marching it is the simply for the istikachum sankasam or for the law wasp it is the pakko jambutfal chaya, like that, they are very specific and this can be achieved by applying their very specific media and that particular media, it should not change the organic media which is indicated for a particular material that should not be even for the arsenical also what has been given for the hartal that cannot be used for the manasika and uh, i mean don't go on a funny research way no okay here kusman soros is not available or here kerala soros is not available or here agast patra soros is not available then i can interchange with all those uh, uh, substance of the arsenic group? No, you should not do. There is a very much a specification and you have to follow the specification of the classics. Thank you. This is for the Sodhan and the next uh, I shall emphasize on the Mara. Okay, bye.